This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I want to talk about a feature that is found just southwest of Meteor Crater. No one ever talks about this elevated horseshoe-shaped formation near Meteor Crater, originally called Beringer Crater. What is it, and what does standard geology say about its formation? I'm not saying I'm right, however, consider these annotated snippets of past experiments I've done. I've always noticed the arc filaments will randomly reach outside the EDM cratering zone and return occasionally to the same point as long as moisture or conductive material is available. I also imagine this area of Arizona was saturated following a major flood when this event took place. One side of every electric crater I've ever made always had a focus of condensation in the beginning. I'm imagining the primary arc pooling all the local water out of the ground as this main crater is being formed. While condensation runs down or is extracted on one side of the outer rim, providing a muddy, wet environment of material that could be built up by secondary filaments reaching out from the saturated portion. Without a conductive solid available, water has been the key. 